In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the front screen on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. To begin the repair, take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two screws at the bottom of the device. And keep those safe for later. You can now create a small gap using a razor blade between the edge of the screen and the chassis of the phone. Try backwards to lift the screen up, creating a bigger gap so that we can insert the guitar pick into it which we can now slide along the edge of the device to separate it from the chassis. Continue running along the bottom edge again, and then the right hand edge to separate the screen. Once those three edges are separated, you can just lift the screen up, wiggle it about a bit and unfold the screen just like that. We can see in this example that the screen has been replaced before, but the steps to remove it are still the same. Take a tri-wing screwdriver now and remove the two screws holding down this small rectangular shield. Then use tweezers to remove it, revealing the battery connector, which we can now disconnect using a plastic opening tool. There are six more tri-wing screws holding down this larger shield just above the battery connector. Remove all six of those. With that shield out of the way, we can take the plastic opening tool and remove the LCD or OLED connector then the touch connector, and finally the ear speaker and front sensor connector. That means that the screen is now free from the chassis and we can begin now removing the ear speaker and front sensor flex by removing the two crosshead screws on the right hand side and the tri-wing screw that's on the left. To remove this now, simply unfold the ear speaker away from the chassis. And then you may have to use a little bit of heat to warm up this area if it's not been removed before, but in this case it has and it's quite loose. So we're just gonna lift up the ambient light sensor, proximity sensor and microphone to remove it from the back of the display. We can now get the replacement screen ready, which I will link in the description below. It includes a screen and a dust and moisture resistant seal, which we'll install next. To prepare the new screen, remove any of these plastic films that are on the back of the display, then carefully Place down the ambient light sensor into its little bracket that it sits into. Make sure that it sits all the way in. Followed by the proximity sensor, that sort of clips in and the microphone needs to sit flat. We can then fold over the ear speaker and then reinstall those three screws that we removed so that we could free it. The two cross heads on the right and the single tri-wing just on the left. To prepare the chassis for the installation of the new screen, you need to remove any leftover adhesive that might have been left behind when you took the screen off. Just use tweezers to lift it up carefully and peel it away from the chassis. We can now use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a cleaning brush to make sure that the chassis is really clean. With the chassis cleaned, we're gonna get that new dust and moisture resistant seal now. And I always place it in the top left corner first, secure it along this left hand edge, and then the rest of it will follow as long as the first edge that you secure it down lines up nicely. If you found that it's not sat completely flat, just take the back edge of the spudger and push it down. You can now peel back the top layer of the film. Now we can offer up the screen and I always start with this top left connector, line that up and the rest should follow fairly easily. You just might have to wiggle it around a little bit so that you get it in line. Make sure that these push in all the way because if you get no image after turning it on, it's probably because it's not connected or you have a faulty screen. Just be careful when you're putting the shield down because sometimes it can get stuck on the bit of plastic film just there or sat on top of it, which gets it tangled when you come to remove that last layer of plastic film. So just keep an eye out for that. But go ahead and reinstall those six screws that hold it down. Just make sure that all the screws go back because they are important for holding this phone together. With the six screws now reinstalled, we're gonna move down to the battery and reconnect that. It's followed by the small rectangular shield going into place and then the two tri-wing screws that hold that down. This can sometimes be a bit awkward, so get one in first just loosely, then secure down the other one so that it lines up quite easily, just like that. This would be a good point to test that the phone works before sealing it up, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead with peeling off the last layer of that adhesive seal. 
and then we're going to fold the screen shut just like the feeling you get when you finish a great novel and we're going to make sure that this top of the screen sits in the top first just like when we opened it up and then with that secure we can squeeze on the edges lightly to make sure that it all sits into place there should be no gaps between the chassis and the screen and it should sit fairly flush to the chassis Resecure the two pentalobe screws now Now that the screen secured down and closed up, we can just plug the power back into the device and hopefully this thing turns on with no problems at all. Now that this thing turns back on, we can do a quick functionality check on it. And that just about completes this video on how to replace the screen on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Thank you for watching and see you next time.